Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited because I am doing a collaboration with my friend, Candy's Sweet Love for LV. You guys, she's such a fabulous YouTuber. She hasn't been on YouTube very long, and this is our first collaboration, and I'm really excited to be doing this with you, Candy. And I will link her video in my description box below, so you guys be sure, go over, subscribe to Candy, and show her the love. You guys, she has a fabulous collection. She has so many beautiful bags. She does unboxings, reviews, and you will absolutely love her. So please do go over and support my friend Candy and also subscribe to me if you're not subscribed. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so for today's video, we're doing a really cool video and it is luxury items that hold sentimental value and why. So I can't wait to see what Candy has, what luxury she has that has sentimental value because I know I have a desk full of things here so let's go ahead and get started with the video all right but before we do I will show you my bag of the day and it's my Boyd chapeau <laughs> okay this is the small one I absolutely love it but I will tell you guys this is a tiny little bag it doesn't hold a lot it holds your bare necessities as I said earlier, I do have quite a few things here that hold sentimental value. And I'm kind of a sentimental person anyway. <laughs> These items really are at the top of my list. I could have brought a lot more out. I think we said we were going to limit it to five. But I just brought out the things that I saw in my closet that really do mean a lot to me. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Now this goes without saying, but I'm going to say it. Of course, my wedding set is my most sentimental piece of jewelry that I have. I have other pieces that mean a lot to me, and like I said, I just couldn't bring everything in here, but my wedding set is with me every day. I've been wearing it every day for the past almost 18 years, you guys, and it just means so much to me. I have a couple other pieces here to show you and they are jewelry because jewelry for me really is more sentimental than a bag. I love bags. I'm a crazy bag lady. You guys all know that but I think that's one reason I'm on the jewelry journey because jewelry does hold a lot of sentiment and it's something that can be passed down generation after generation and I don't have one piece of jewelry that belonged to my grandmother. She really didn't wear a lot of jewelry. So she did wear some pins, but I don't have anything like that. But if I had anything, one little piece of jewelry that belonged to my grandmother, that would mean a lot to me. So I do feel like jewelry does hold a lot of sentimental value because like my wedding rings, they're always with me. Now, I was going to show you this ring. This is a... 14 karat gold ring and I think it's about a quarter diamond solitaire and it's got the swirl design and then on the side it kind of stands up high like that and my dad my dad bought me this ring for my high school graduation and I love it and I've worn it all these years I don't wear it every day but I should wear it more actually I just love it. How beautiful is that ring? It's it's such a pretty ring and I love the swirl design and the way it stands up high. This is a very, very special ring. I remember that we were in a jewelry store and I saw it and I thought it was beautiful and I said, oh, I love that ring and my dad said, you like that? <laughs> I like to talk like him and I said, yes, that's beautiful and he said, Hey, and he called the lady over to the jewelry counter. He said, open that up. And she got it out. And he said, I'll take that. Just like that. I'll never forget it. I was so surprised because, you know, I was a teenager. I didn't have jewelry, nice jewelry. I've had it since I was 17 years old, since my graduation. And I love it. And I never look at it without thinking about my dad and the day he bought me this beautiful ring. So it's very sentimental to me. And then the next set of bracelets I have are these gorgeous bangles and they're solid gold. 
you can't get bracelets like this at Cartier. These are so pretty and so rich looking and they've got these little jingly. Can you hear that? <laughs> I've had these, Keith bought me these probably 10 or 15 years ago. And look how rich the gold is. Just kind of compare it to my Cartier, but they're beautiful. They're very sentimental. I don't wear these every day, but I definitely wear them for special occasions and they're very sentimental to me. So I will pass these down to my daughter and then because she has a son, later on, she will pass one to each of my granddaughters. Jewelry just carries so much sentimental value and I just treasure these pieces that I've shown you. I do have several more pieces. I have a drachma necklace that my dad bought me for my fifth birthday, and somehow I have managed to keep that drachma my entire life since I was five years old. It's very sentimental, but I couldn't bring everything out here or the video would be, I don't know, four hours long. <laughs> but I have shown you guys that before and it's a very sentimental piece to me. I also have a Greek cross that was given to my mother by my uncle, my dad's oldest brother, and several other pieces like that that I have gotten in Greece. But most of the sentimental pieces I have, I've had for many, many years. Now, I have some bags to show you. <laughs> Now, I'm going to start out with a bag that recently I shared with you that we've fallen back in love. We have rekindled our romance. And it is my artsy, you guys. I almost sold it. I know I told you guys that not long ago, but I'm so happy that I kept it because I've had it for so long. And Keith purchased this for me probably, probably 10 years ago. And look at the azure. And I can't say this enough. Don't be afraid of azure because look at this. This bag has been carried and used a lot. I have no corner wear. No, there's no stains on this bag. And I've never had an organizer inside of this bag. I've never really wanted an organizer for this bag, but the inside of it looks really good. And of course, it's old style. And look at the pochetta. Ah, I love it, you guys. I love it because it's an oldie but a goodie. I just remember going up there and he treated me when I least expected it. And that's kind of how Keith is. <laughs> I can ask for things. And you know, a lot of things I do buy with my own money. I've bought every one of my Chanel bags myself. And that's why there, I don't have any Chanel bags on this list because I bought them myself with my own money. But bags like this that he treats me to, they're always sentimental to me. It always means a lot to me. I've used this bag quite a bit this summer. So I'm really happy that I have it and it's just beautiful. And I love it with this little charm. And this little charm right now is on sale. And if I can still find it, I'll link it for you, but it's like $17. It's super, super inexpensive, but it looks really pretty on Azure, I think. Just adds a little pop of color. And yes, so this is a very sentimental bag. And I think not just because Keith bought it for me and it was a surprise or a spur of the moment purchase, but also because I came really close to selling her and actually I just got cold feet. Anyway, Karen. <laughs> She's one of my lovely subscribers and we laugh about it because if anybody were to ever get this bag, it would be you, but I'm probably going to have to keep it, but she was fine with it. And that kind of adds to the, I guess, the sentimentalness of the bag, <laughs> but I'm just really happy that I kept it. But yeah, my number one thing here, but you guys really don't be afraid of Azure. I love Azure. I would love to have more Azure in my collection. I just don't have enough of it, but I love it. And you know, really, there is something that I really do want you guys to take away from this story <laughs> that I've shared with you guys before. But don't be so quick to sell your older bags because I've only sold a few bags. I counted, I can count on one hand since I've been buying bags. And there are, there's one bag that I really regret and it was my older style Neverfull. But I just really do want to emphasize that bags like that 
are special and when you've had them for so many years and used them so long and they still look so beautiful I don't know just don't be so quick to sell your bags just make sure a lot of people do buy bags and sell bags and buy bags and sell bags but I guess if you're like me and and things really do matter to me okay <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. They don't matter like my family. They don't matter like, you know, the really important things in life. But the nice things that I have accumulated over the years that my husband has gifted me or I've even purchased myself, I take care of them and I appreciate everything that I have. And But anyway, I don't want to get off on a tangent, but I do want to say, you guys, don't be so quick to sell some of those bags that you've had for a while because you might really have seller's remorse and that doesn't feel good because I definitely to this day have seller's remorse on that Neverfull that Keith bought me and then I turned around and repurchased it but it just doesn't feel the same you know so anyway you guys just if you take anything away from this video just take that bit of advice because I feel like a lot of times if we need some money or we just get tired of something. I haven't ever sold anything because I needed the money, but I sold it because I thought I was tired of it. And I almost sold that. So anyway, that's that's what I would really like for you to take away on this video for this video. Just don't make a mistake and have seller's remorse. The next bag that is so sentimental to me. Oh my gosh, every time I look at it, I almost relive the shock when I saw it because it came out of nowhere. It was a Christmas gift from Keith. I had opened all of my gifts and he left the room and came back with a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> and it's this artsy. And you guys, this is the most beautiful artsy. Look at the emprunt leather. Look how deep the stamping is on this bag. I was absolutely shocked. He went to Orlando to a trade show and while he was there, he went to Louis Vuitton and he said he just walked around <laughs> and he said, I saw it way up on a shelf and I said, can I see that bag up there? This is typical Keith. They got it down, he said, I'll take it. He said he thought this bag looked like me. Okay, this is before I started carrying smaller bags like this, but he said it was black. He said it had some gold on it. He said, I just thought it looked like you. It was a total surprise. One of my subscribers early on on my YouTube channel called this bag the Black Beauty. This is definitely a Black Beauty and I love it. Now I do tend to carry it in the fall and winter and I've carried it a lot. The thing about an artsy, it does have a big base and I've just always kind of scrunched it down under my arm. I've always carried it under my arm like that and just kind of scrunch it down kind of like that. It's very malleable. I love it. I love it so much. I'm so happy to have this bag. This is one bag that I've never considered selling because I'll just never forget the shock that I felt because I had opened up several gifts and then he comes out with this bag. So it was something that Keith chose for me. He said it looked like me and he wanted me to have it and it's very sentimental. I absolutely love my Black Beauty Artsy. So the last bag I'm going to share with you guys and like I said I could bring so many other things in here and tell you that they're sentimental but we can't you know I can't do that but the last bag that I brought in here to share with you guys and some of you may not know I have this bag maybe some of you that's been with me for a while will remember it but I haven't really shown you guys this bag in a really long time it's my Gucci Dionysus and it's in the small size I love it. Do a little ABS there. Yes. Looks like I've got some hair hung in the chain. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I love this bag. I got it when we were in Greece. Let's see, what island were we on? Mm. We were in Mykonos. Yes. Mykonos. And I had to think about it. Yes, I got this bag in Greece in Mykonos. I had been thinking about getting the medium size, but I don't know. 
know, I just wasn't crazy about the medium size. The medium size is longer and it has kind of a flat look and I just love the way this one looked. And this bag, I've used it a lot, but it doesn't work well for me for an everyday bag. And the chain, it is movable. I mean, you can't take it off, but you can make it, you can wear it on your shoulder, you know, longer like that. But I tend to wear it doubled up. I wear it doubled up like that. But this is one of my special going out date night bags. I've used it a ton and you guys, this is another bag that probably some people would say that the Dionysus is out of style. You know, I did a video about that. It's not out of style to me. I think the Dionysus line and the Marmot line, I think they're classic bags. How could this ever be out of style? And what I really love about it is the fact that it has the silver hardware. It's very, very pretty. It goes really well with black and it's one of my special going out date night bags. And I have used this a lot. So I've gotten my use out of this bag. I have always wanted another Dionysus and I've seen a solid black one and it had like a jeweled tone snake here. Is that a snake? Lion? It's a lot, okay. And it had like a jewel tone uh, eyes in the lion head. It was beautiful. But anyway, guys, I don't know if I'll ever get one, but I'm glad that I have this one. I did get this one in Greece. I just absolutely love it. These bags are still available and on the website. I just feel like it's a classic. I love it. And you know, you guys, I'm a sentimental person, okay? <laughs> I am so sentimental over so many things this just happens to be about luxury. It's not just luxury that I'm sentimental about. I'm sentimental about our traditions. Keith and I have traditions and I'm sentimental about things that I have done with my granddaughters. I have artwork that we've done together and there's a piece of artwork on my refrigerator that little Kennedy did for me. She signed it and told me it was a present for me and it's always been on my refrigerator. I actually think that I'm going to frame it. I have several pieces like that that are sentimental. I have so many keepsakes that are sentimental. I have cards that I've kept from family and friends and from Keith that are sentimental. I have my dad's Bible with his writing in it. He, he would write in Greek and you know, he would kind of go back and forth between Greek and English, but I have his Bible that he would write in that's very sentimental to me. And all of my photographs that I've taken over the years of my children, that's sentimental to me. I mean, things like that are irreplaceable. And yeah, I, I just, I don't want you guys to take it that I just am sentimental. I don't want you guys to leave this video thinking I'm sentimental over luxury items, but this is a luxury channel and this is what we're doing because these items are sentimental, but they don't mean what my photograph, they don't mean, they don't hold the same sentimental value as certain things that I have that um, <laughs> okay, I feel a little bit emotional right now and I, I don't want to be, but they just, there's no way they could ever hold a candle to the sentimental value of memories, of pictures I have, of videos I have of my children growing up. And I just, you know, I just really do cherish all of the memories that I have and certain items that I have from my family. As a matter of fact, before I end this video, I would like to show you a couple items that are not luxury that are very sentimental to me. Okay, let me rephrase that. I want to show you certain items that are not luxury that hold a lot of sentimental value for me. Okay, guys, I had to get a hold of myself. I felt very emotional there for a moment. Okay, the first thing I want to show you that stays here in my office, I have a chair over there and it sits in the chair, are these little Care Bears. Aren't they cute? Okay, 
this one was my daughter's Care Bear. And <laughs> I got it for her when she was a little baby, maybe a year old. And then this one was her little boy's Care Bear. I bought this for Evan when he was a year old. And I've hung on to these. And it's Alexandra's Care Bear and Evan's Care Bear. And I'm just surprised she hasn't came and taken them from me. <laughs> But these are sentimental to me, you guys. I I just remember when they were little, and the, and I love stuffed animals. I'm I just do, you guys. I'm a kid at heart. But anyway, this was Alexandra's little Care Bear and Evans, and I I just I I love them, and they're very sentimental, and I'll always keep them. All right, now I have a few photographs to show you guys that holds a lot of sentimental value for me, and this one right here. This is both of my grandmothers, my Yaya and my Yaya. <laughs> I called both of them Yaya. But this was my dad's mom, and this is my mom's mom. And my Yaya came from Greece and stayed with us in Detroit. And my grandmother, my mother's mother, she had these little hats. And she had two matching hats. I don't know if they belonged to my two aunts or what, but they wore matching hats and had this picture made and I love it. And I have a bedroom that is kind of old fashioned and I have old fashioned pictures and things in there and this is up on a dresser. Okay, and then this picture I love. It's my mom on her wedding day. Wasn't she gorgeous? She's still gorgeous. And that's her baby sister. She looks like Marilyn Monroe, right? And I put it in this pretty frame, but I had this picture blown up when I came across this, and it's just the most beautiful picture of my mother. I didn't, I've never seen a picture of my parents together on the day they got married, and they got married on New Year's Eve. And that was in Detroit. So, yes, I love this picture so much. It means so much to me. And then this little picture was my baby girl. She was probably, well, she wasn't two because my son, Micah, wasn't born yet. So she was about a year and a half old. And that's my dad holding her up. And the reason this picture holds so much sentimental value to me is because I remember it like it was yesterday. And he was going, he used to call her little girl. He'd say, that's a my little girl, that's a my little girl. And he was bouncing her up and down and she was just laughing. And I just remember he was playing with her in a very rambunctious way. And she just was having the best time and her little hair's messy. And I don't know, she was just so sweet. And I just love the way my dad is holding her up like that. He always called her little girl. <laughs> But I love it. This sits also in my guest room on the dresser and this frame, and I also have a candlestick that match, came from Greece. My parents brought it back from Greece and it's, it's very old and I've had it for years. But these photographs mean so much to me and especially all of them do. And I remember when my grandmother was here, I don't remember this day, but I remember this day like it was yesterday because my dad was playing in such a rough housing way. He was rough housing her and scaring me a little bit, just throwing her around and laughing and she was laughing. And every time I see this picture, it makes me smile. It makes me laugh and I just, I just love it. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, that's all I have to show you today. Now, please do go over to Candy, and she's pretty close to 2,000 subscribers, I think, so let's get her there, you guys. Subscribe to her. You'll really enjoy her content because she has so much to show you guys. She buys lots of beautiful bags, and she has the most fabulous collection, a lot of current things, and she just... She just is a wealth of information when it comes to Louis Vuitton, and I think she's recently diving, she started diving into the world of Chanel. Girl, you're gonna, you're gonna get hooked. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I love Candy. She's a really good person. We message each other back and forth quite a bit. 
since I've had COVID, she has checked on me to see if I was doing okay. She had COVID and we're both nurses. We have a medical background. We have that in common and we both love handbags. So yeah, you guys, we make a pretty good team, but you guys, please do go over and subscribe to her and I would really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and yeah, so I'm going to go over there and watch her right now and you guys do the same thing. I'll see you guys on another day. Bye-bye. Peace.